guys. Um, I've had a ton of requests to show you guys how to play uh, Hurricane by Luke Combs. Um, basically, I did a video for this about a year ago, and it's a very fun song to play, and I went back to look at it after getting all these requests, and I think I played it a little bit wrong. Um, the general notes are the right way to do it, but I'll put the link in the video here, but you'll be able to see that it's not quite the same as the original song, so I went ahead and fixed everything, and I want to show you guys the right way to play it. So, um, what I have now, I have a capo on my guitar. In the original video, I didn't use a capo. Um, and the song's in G minor, so we have this on the third fret. It's just going to make it a lot easier to play and give you that ringing sound um, in the intro lick, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the intro lick right now. Um, it was in the beginning of the video, but it's just... So as you can hear there, it has that cool open ringing sound. So what I'm doing is when I'm playing a note on the B string, I'm leaving the high E string ringing out. And when I switch to the G string, the B string is ringing out. And it gives it a really cool vibe. So basically I'm starting on the 6th fret on the B string and sliding up to the 8th fret. And every time I pick the note, I hit the open E string as well. So once you play through that, you're going to switch to the G string and leave the B string ring out, and you're just going to play the 7th fret and slide up to the 10th, and then come back down and hit the 5th fret and slide up to the 7th. So it's, when you piece it together, So it's pretty simple, um, and you should be able to get that pretty quickly. And like I said, just make sure you leave that the high E and the high B string ring out um, when you're playing the string below that. So moving forward, goes right into the verse. I played the picking part in the original video uh, without the capo. It's even easier with the capo. Um, the chord shape is just uh, it starts on E, then C, G, and then D. Uh, that's not the actual chord names, that's just the shapes with the capo. If you were going to play it without the capo, the actual chords are just G, E flat, B flat, and C. So basically, um, I'm going to leave my third finger on the B string um, on the 8th fret and basically pick, starting with the E, the open low note. So it's just the open low note, open G string, and then the 8th fret on the B string. So. And then same thing for the next chord, uh, the shape is C, so you just basically put your uh, middle finger down and do the same high part. And then switch to G on the low string. So. And then uh, the last shape is just D, so um, your first finger goes down on the G string like a D chord. So. And then of course if you don't have anyone else playing guitar, um, the acoustic guitar part is the same chords, it's just strumming them all out. That's kind of a more laid back verse and then it goes right into the chorus. Uh, uses the same chords. So there's a couple ways that you could play the chorus. Um, basically the chord shapes are just C, G, E, and D if you have the capo on there. But um, if you want to use the actual chord names, of course, it's just E flat, B flat, um, G, and F. You could play open chords or bar chords. Um, if you're going to play the open chords, it's just... <laughs> Like I just said, the last one skips the third chord. Um, pretty simple. So if you wanted to just play bar chords instead, um, which is totally fine there, um, it's just E flat, B flat, 
flat. Uh, G. And then F. So I would personally play the higher bar chords, but you can always change it up too and do. Best of both worlds there, um, but it's just that chorus it just goes right back into the intro uh, which we talked about uh, the ending changes a little bit to lead into the verse but um, just and then basically with the capo on there you're going to just use the E minor shape um, when you're that low but uh, it's basically G minor but it kind of does like a little bend into that. Um, so it's really just bending the fifth fret on the G string, open on the G string, uh, fifth fret on the D string, and open on the G string. And then in the original video that I did uh, for that second verse, I just did some of the behind the scenes guitar work there. Um, there's some really cool little hidden licks, but. Stuff like that, um, and you can do whatever you want to add flavor, and you can always, of course, go back to the same thing that's in the first verse. Um, and then after that, goes right into the chorus, which is the same thing. So, and then out of that, goes into the solo. So. Um, I never really learned the actual solo, but uh, I believe the first part of the solo is just kind of the... Which is G minor shape up on the 15th fret um, on the G string, and then the 18th fret on the B string. Basically, for um, that little section, you can do whatever you want to fill in that solo. Um, like I said, I didn't learn the exact solo, but you can have some fun with that section. And then it goes into the bridge, where it's going back into the same thing as the verse, just strummed all the way out. So you have... And then right into another little solo that leads into kind of a, a quieter chorus. So that uh, solo just has a little walk-in, which just um, starts on the 15th fret on the B string, 16th fret on the B string, and 18th fret on the D string. And then just walks down. So something really simple like that, just to lead into the broken down bridge where uh, the acoustic guitar is just strumming the chorus chords. And then basically after that, everything else is the chorus. So super simple, and you can just pick it up very quick. So basically to recap, you have the intro. And then just using the simple shapes with the capo, um, for the verse you're looking at um, E, C, G, D, then switching to the chorus you have basically the same chord shapes, uh, just changes to starting on the C shape. So you have solo and then the bridge which is the same as the verse and then the solo and then the outro which is the same as the chorus so it should be pretty simple uh, easy to pick up if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities and I hope this helped you guys through the song